right guys what's going on uh, i know it's been a minute since we've done a video i'm horrible at these things so uh let's get right into it uh we just bought a new home that's what's taking so long to kind of get everything situated we're here now obviously as you can tell behind me uh we got a lot of work to do uh but we're getting settled in uh figuring out the parking situation with the cars uh big old trucks is a problem the caddy the mini uh, the driveway isn't the biggest, uh, as you can see. We're squeezing in where we can. Uh, but I just wanna answer some questions. I see a lot of people posting on my videos uh, about certain things about the lift and the tires and the setup. So we just wanna try to figure it out. All right, so let's just dive in. I've been seeing some comments and posts about, you know, it looks like you skipped leg day, those tires are too small for the truck. And most of those are based off of my initial video when I got the lift first done from a, uh, I'll say a company that shall remain nameless uh, and they just didn't do a good setup, right? The wheel and tire was not the right combo. I think they started me with 35s on the 12 inch lift with 20s uh, and I didn't know much and kind of went with it and then realized very soon after it just wasn't the look I was going for. So as you can see, uh, the truck is not on those tires anymore. Uh, we are currently on 24 by 14 uh, 40s. Uh, so they do fit a little bit better. I would like to go to a 42, uh, but RBP does not make a 42 yet. So I might have to look outside or see if they're going to develop anything, but I definitely want to go a little bit bigger on the tires. Uh, the transition was finally got hooked up with Bulletproof after the lift was done. Talked to Brian there and he made a little trade for me and we were able to jump up to 22s and 37s which was a better look it definitely fit nice and kind of changed it a little bit but again the lift is just so big uh that we still had to go a little bit larger with the wheels to fill out the wheel a little more hummers already you already know the front end um if you look here i'll bring you over so here you go there's the wheel gap and that's still on 40s obviously you can tell the front is a larger gap than the rear so we're still trying to work with that but i mean this lift and this truck makes these 40 by 15 and halves look like baby tires and believe me it ain't all right so like i was saying uh, we're definitely gonna make a statement with it i mean that's the whole point right it's a loud obnoxious it's big uh that's what we do with this thing so obviously keep hitting me up put any questions comments you have uh we are going to do hopefully some more with this now that we're in our house do a little more filming when we're doing the upgrades any maintenance uh this obviously we have let's go so obviously you know this bad boy we got the, the savage h2 going on uh, we also have the wife's uh 2500 ram that we're gonna do some work on wheel company you've hopefully seen those posts so we're uh, partnered up with gear on that uh, we have a couple other things going on lift is going on soon they're not powder coated uh, let's do chrome delete what else are we doing on this thing uh, what are we chrome delete wheels lift um probably no interior we like the stock interior headlights definitely tail lights paint to match emblems grill train horns i mean we just got a lot going on with this thing so uh we'll start doing some work on this thing this one's super dirty wow good thing my wife cares about her truck uh and that's it man i mean there's not much going on like i said i'm horrible at this uh this video thing uh so i'm gonna get better at it hello uh just neighbors walking by which is kind of cool uh again we're in a new home feels weird a little bit more space a little bit quieter uh I got some neighbors, but they're nice. They all seem to like the truck. I was worried about that, you know, obnoxious sound and big and loud, but everybody seems to like it a lot. It's definitely a conversation piece for us and we love it. And that's one of the reasons why we go so extreme with it. Uh, that's it, man. I wish uh, I'd get better at this. I'm horrible. I apologize. I know I keep probably doing this throughout the video, but uh, I don't like talking about myself. So it's kind of hard. I don't have anybody else here to do it with. Hopefully we'll get some other people on here. My son likes to be involved. My daughter should be back from school soon. Uh, so we'll get going. Um, that's it, guys. I hope to see you out there soon. Get this thing uh, truck built for SEMA. Get that out there this November. And then do more stuff with the with the Hummer. I know there's a lot of competition out there. Lacey's got a Hummer now. And again, I, I love her. She's amazing. But I just don't think her truck has anything on mine. Uh, it's cute. 
cute and all, and it's got big old mud boggers, I guess. But as far as lift is considered, it's pretty stock, uh, paint stock. Uh, there's not much going on with it, believe me. I would love to meet up and do a little, you know, comparison with her. No hate, just uh, I think I have kind of cleared the path for Hummers out there, except for there's a couple other ground and pound Edens, you know, solid axle swap on the front is sick air ride is sick and that's definitely out there but i think it's a more of a show truck i've proven ours is uh built for purpose and to do you know off-road stuff and we're not afraid to break her that's what we put all this money and you know research into so i'm happy to do it uh and that's it try to get out some shows uh get our name out there and have some fun get some more builds going so hopefully see you guys out there soon comment let me know what you guys want to see if you have any questions hit me up i'm really good about answering them and uh hopefully uh we can keep you entertained see you soon